Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Jessica and today I'll be showing you how I got this marvelous braid out on my sister locks. So if you want to see that, um, keep on watching. But first, please like, comment, and subscribe and send this video to anybody that you think will be interested in it. Alright, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so my braids have been up for about two days now. So it's time to take them down. The rubber bands are still on the end. So the way that I did the pattern is really it was random, but I typically just split my hair in four sections when I wash it and then I'll braid it. Uh, I do a cornrow on each section and then while I'm in the shower or whatever I'm doing, I'll unbraid that one section that I'm working on, get into my scalp thoroughly and um, take it that way. And so I'll rebraid it when I'm in the shower and then out of the shower I do a different you know some smaller braids so this time I actually did three braids on each section in the back so that's six in the back those two big sections in the back got three braids a piece and then the two large sections in the front got four a piece so we have um, eight in the front and six in the back so this should not take too long what was I gonna talk about today um I was thinking more so along the lines of like talking about the pros and cons of sister locks um but then i realized like i don't have many cons like a lot of the pros come with not having to comb your hair not having to be responsible for you know different products and things like that um gear is more versatile you can curl it you can flat iron them you can literally do whatever it is that you want to do to your hair you can put protective styles over it um, and I'll insert a picture here of me doing my sisters or, you know, when I did my sister's braids, no, we got to stop. Well, we did both. So I'll probably put both pictures. Um, we put box braids and goddess faux locks over her sister locks. And I literally see my sister in protective styles more than I see her sister locks out. Like they're so versatile and you can literally do anything. Um, and it's also still a journey. Like it's not... It doesn't take anything away from the locking process or the lock journey or whatnot. Um, let me see. What else? I mean, you just have the freedom to literally do anything. Like, you don't have to worry about, um, really have to worry about twist outs and braid outs and things like that. Because you know, as long as your hair is dry, excuse me, as long as your hair dries, well, honey. And another tip I have too, pop rubber bands, pop them. Don't try and pull these rubber bands off when you have styles like this. I always braid and band my hair when I wash it. So um, when I did those four large sections, um, I braided them all the way down and then put a rubber band on the end loosely and then took them out and put them back on while I was in the shower. And then um, when I rebraided it, I put rubber bands on each of the new braids because my hair was still wet. So that's something you want to make sure just because unraveling and things like that can occur. But what was I saying? Um, yeah, you can literally do anything with your hair. Like you don't have to worry about um, failed braid outs, failed twist outs, just unless, unless you can't braid or twist. Like, <laughs> But other than that, it's just like as long as your hair dries from, you know, the the water or the oil or whatever it is that you put into your hair when you braided it or twisted it down you can pretty much guarantee a successful uh braid or twist out and um same with curls and things like that so you can do flexi rise you can do perm rise you can do um you can put heat to them i wouldn't recommend it because i don't put heat to my hair and i didn't put it to my hair um i put it to my hair one time when it was in its natural state so this is my second set of sister locks um I know I probably stated that before, but this is my second set. I had, I got my first set when I was probably 10 or 11. And I took them down when I was 17. I cut them off when I was 17. They were like pretty much at my butt by that time. And then um, I got this set back um, February of 2018. So they're just over two years old now. Um, so yeah. The things that I felt that I hadn't got to, gotten to experience. Now that I've experienced them, girl, I don't want that. I don't like that. <laughs> 
I don't like that. I had an undercut. I, I've never dyed my hair. That's one thing that I do want to do, but I'm just so scared. Um, because I always watch <laughs> failed uh, hair dyeing videos. Like, I just always watch the crazy stuff, but, um, I definitely want to dye my hair, and I might look at some of those little paints that, uh, I've been seeing recently, but, yeah, like, I want to do, you know, some, like, purple or blue or something like that temporarily, um, but, yeah, I But it's not like you can leave your head right there and then come back and pick it up. Girl, you have to do it unless, you know. And then, of course, if you get a larger size, the time will be a little bit less. If you have shorter hair, the time and the price will be a, a lot less. So, it's a lot to look into. Um, but you can style your sister locks literally any way that you want to. Along with the fact that you really don't have a bad hair day like I do not have bad hair days unless I'm just like the other day when my hair needed to be washed if y'all were watching my vlogs child I kept saying I'm gonna wash my hair and wash my hair and I'm procrastinating like I procrastinate quite a bit and I only do it because I know that it's kind of like impossible for me to have a bad hair day so I could procrastinate on certain things like styling or um washing or something like that so you know that's something else too if you are pretty passive with your hair and you don't really like to style it or you don't like to do anything to it really um it's a great style and they also have um i have seen this one lady if i can think if i can remember to link her or like tag or you know something um she did her locks by herself they were diy micro locks that she did on her own they're absolutely beautiful they are absolutely beautiful i still follow her journey here on youtube and um i mean if you have that type of patience and that type of commitment then i say do it i definitely say do it i would skip that pricing um and just do it myself, honestly and truly, if I had that type of patience. I tighten my own hair, but I would never install my own hair. That's just me personally. If I had I just don't have that type of patience. Um now that I've cut my hair off once, I feel like girl, I cut my hair off <laughs> before I sit there and I do that. But it's definitely something to look into. Like you can do micro twists, you can do micro braids, you can do um, and when I say micro braids, I mean, of course, to get into locks, um, braid locks, that's what it is, micro braid locks. Um, so, yeah, it's all up to you. It's, oh, whoo, yeah, it's literally all up to you. It's your journey. Just like traditional locks, just like, um, instant locks, just like lock extensions. Now, I do traditional locks. I do lock extensions here in Birmingham, Alabama, and, um. I do instant locks and stuff like that uh, in protective styles, but um, I don't install sister locks, but I do retighten, like I said. So, enough of that. So now that we're finished, I will be using 
Oof. Yeah, and it's unscented as well, so it doesn't bother me. And I'm I'm real sensitive when it comes to scents and things. I'll leave this link below. I'll just put that on my scalp. And then I'm also doing this to get the um the parts out of my scalp too. Make them less visible. All right, and on my first weekly vlog, I showed you all while I was retightening that I used this um, Thayer's Natural Remedy Facial Mist, the Witch Hazel and uh, Rose Petals. I use this um, on my scalp because I have a very sensitive scalp and it's literally always flicking. Leave me alone. Come on. Come on, girl. Get anywhere. I got this from Target. Well, my mama got it from Target. <laughs> And this also can be used. She uses it for people who, um, like for her clients when they just get their locks done and stuff like that. It's very good to use on your scalp because it's just witch hazel. Um, and so if your scalp, your scalp will be tight and sensitive and your butt gonna hurt and all the other stuff. So <laughs> that's something cool to use. But yeah, y'all, that's it. I hope you all enjoy it. Get it right, sis. Get it together. I'm all out of whack. And this can go either way we want it I always um style right down the middle like when I uh, actually do braids and stuff like that I always use my middle part but of course it can go to each side go further over you can style at this point you can pull them up at this point you can literally do whatever it is that you Alright y'all and that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed my little chit chat. I hope you enjoyed watching me take these braids down. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you never miss me. And uh, send this video to anybody that you think would enjoy it. If you have sister locks or if they have sister locks or they're considering sister locks, tell them to do it and send them this video. Okay? Y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. -bye. <laughs>